When Germany went to war in 1939, four out of five of the country's children were members of the Hitler Youth. From the age of 10, they had learned Nazi ideology and military tactics in Hitler Youth clubhouses and boot camps. The boys had been well prepared for war. At that age, you can't imagine death properly. You don't have a real sense of fear. We would have laid down our lives for Germany. In other words, for Hitler. For Deutschland. Grob gesagt sogar für Hitler. At the beginning of the war, the Hitler Youth were put to work on the home front. Boys manned the flak guns, and the Hitler Youth Fire Brigade fought the daily blazes. The very young, Hitler's most precious commodity, were evacuated to army-style camps where they fell under the influence of SS officers. In the final years of the war, as German casualties mounted, Hitler would look to his youth movement for reinforcements. It was dangerous to be aged 18 in those days. One of us lost an eye, another an arm. In all, we had losses of nearly 50%. We were driven into a war and used as cannon fodder in a way that makes a mockery of every military principle. We were expendable. Hitler's children were going to war. On the 1st of September 1939, Hitler invaded Poland. The Wehrmacht, the German army, used Hitler youth boys to take messages to frontline troops. One boy, proud to wear the Wehrmacht armband, was 16-year-old Werner Gottschall. I rode around on my bicycle all day, holding my left arm out in front of me so everyone could see that Werner Gottschall is in the German army. But the reality of war was very different from the glorified version the Hitler youth boys had been taught. I was crying and screaming and shaking so much that I had to push my bike to the local headquarters. I couldn't ride. I was so unnerved by the din and the dust and the rubble and the houses that were gone and the roofs on the street. It was dreadful. By the 27th of September, Warsaw had fallen. The campaign had claimed more than 90,000 Polish lives. We scoured Westerplatte in Polish territory to register the dead and attend to the injured. There were so many sad sights. I hadn't seen dead people before except at funerals laid out in a coffin, but these lay on the ground, dirty and bloody. It was an experience that took me a long, long time to get over. Away from the front line, the Hitler youth were used to plug the gaps left by men who had gone to war. Boys and girls were sent to work across Germany in fields and factories. Im Krieg zählt eines jeden Hand und wir verzichten gerne auf Luxus, Launen und auf Tanz. Ob jung, ob alt, ob Frau, ob Mann, auf jeden kommt es heute an. In 1940, the Hitler Youth leadership reported that more than five million teenagers were working as part of the war effort. Without them, the German economy would have collapsed. Younger Hitler Youth members also wanted to help. 
We collected for the Winter Relief Fund. We had to publicize it so that people would give generously. We were each allocated a doorway in the marketplace. When a whistle was blown, we yelled rhymes like, people in your purse dig deep, make sure you donate to Winter Relief. Or a macabre slogan, go on people, donate a lot, if you don't, you'll be shot. These Hitler youth boys were promised a more active role in the future by the Nazi leadership. Pimper aus Weider in Thüringen sammelten, wo immer sie Glück hatten, bei Bekannten und in Geschäften, 5000 Zigaretten und sandten sie an Generalfeldmarschall Rommel nach Afrika. Heute kommt die Antwort. Rommel schickt dem Pimpen zum Dank eine englische Beutuniform, sein Bild und einen Brief. Liebe Jungen, schreibt der Generalfeldmarschall, ihr selbst werdet einmal eure Pflicht als Soldat erfüllen. Ich hoffe, dass ihr euch dann den Geist, der euch heute beseelt, erhalten habt. Vorbereitet waren wir alle innerlich. We were all mentally prepared. When the war broke out, our school teacher said to us, you'll all get a go. You'll get a go. We were young and thought the war would soon be over, but we really hoped we would get a go. I had a friend who said in all seriousness, I want to die in battle. I had a friend who said to me, you know, I want to die in battle. Not all young people wanted to fight Hitler's war. In Hamburg, fans of swing music congregated at private parties. Swing music represented a boundless freedom. Think of the times we lived in. Young people were restricted by the state. The state dictated to them what they could listen to and what they couldn't. You must also bear in mind that it was wartime. Cigarettes and food were rationed. Young people were called up. When they played swing music with their friends for a few hours, they forgot all the misery around them. Fans of swing associated the music with the American way of life. It was a million miles away from the regimented discipline of the Hitler Youth. Dem Gesetz der Rhythmen können wir Menschen uns nicht entziehen. Jede Militärkapelle zwingt uns, wir wollen oder nicht, im gleichen Schritt mitzumarschieren. Es kostet uns Mühe, gegen den Rhythmus der Musik anzugehen. Der deutsche Junge hatte... A German boy had to be a loyal German. Loyalty is the mark of honor. That was the motto of the SS, but also of the Hitler Youth. In those days, there was a swing song called the Flatfoot Fluji. Swing title. There he is, the Flatfoot Fluji. It's a nonsense title. It's a nonsensical title. It doesn't really mean anything. When it was dark, my swing friends and I used to walk along the Jungfernsteig in Hamburg with an umbrella, one foot on the cab, one foot on the road, singing. Regenschirm und dann immer mit einem Fuß auf dem auf dem Bordstein, mit dem anderen Fuß auf der Fahrbahn und dann The Flatfoot Fluji. The Flatfoot Fluji with the Floy Joy. The Floy Floy. The Flatfoot Fluji with the Floy Floy. Treu Deutsch, treu Deutsch. Loyal German, loyal German, loyal German. The first time I remember thinking, are you allowed to say anything so facetious? I found it really hard to do. Das ist mir schwer gefallen, das zu machen. The Flatfoot Fluji with the Floy Floy. The Nazis disapproved of swing.